What does it mean to discover your mission or your purpose in life? And how can you actually start to cultivate that sense of purpose and mission starting now? So in this video, I'm going to start to go over what exactly a mission is, what a sense of purpose is, so that you can really start to clarify what this topic means and also decide whether or not this is something that you find is going to be really useful for you in your life. Okay, so first and foremost in this video, we're going to go over what is a mission, why that's important for you to start to cultivate it, and give you some examples of people who have actually really gone through and clarified what that sense of personal mission is. And then in the following videos, I'm going to give you a series of exercises because one of the things in my experience is a lot of people talk about the importance of knowing your mission, but there's not a ton of good guidance to help you find a way to unify your passions, your interests, your desires, and cultivate that sense of calling or mission. What is a sense of purpose? So to help me in this video, I'm actually gonna be leaning very heavily on this book, uh, which I can't know if it's coming across on camera, NLP, The New Technology Achievement, which you might be able to tell I've been through this book a couple times, so many that the both covers have fallen off. Uh, but it was written by Steve Andreas and Charles Faulkner and a couple other contributing authors. And in chapter four of the book, in my opinion so far, they have the best guide to helping people discover what their sense of purpose or mission is, the best guide that I've found. And so I lean really, really heavily on them in this video series. And so I'm going to take the definition for what a purpose is just straight from this book. So to quote from the book, a mission is a sense of purpose that lures you into your future. It unifies your beliefs, your values, your actions, and your sense of who you are. It's a fabric woven of the various threads of your interests, desires, and goals. And sometimes that mission can be big, it can be comprehensive, it can be grandiose. But most of all, a mission is fun. When you're living your mission, you tend to behave like Steven Spielberg, who said that, I wake up so excited, I can't eat breakfast. So a sense of mission is that purpose that unifies all of who you are, the thread of your passion, your interest, you know, your desires into a meaningful purpose that lures you into your future. Now, that's what a mission is. And some people are lucky enough where they just realize one day, they're like, hey, this is the mission that I want to give myself over to. Others have to cultivate it. And if you're not currently aware of what it is that you want to, you know, uh, dedicate your life to, that's okay. And it's rather a grandiose thing in general. We're going to give you some exercises. But just to point out, it doesn't necessarily have to be grandiose. Okay, it just has to be meaningful to you and unify your interests, your values, your beliefs, etc. So you don't have to have some gigantic legacy that you're trying to build in order to have a meaningful mission. All right, so stay tuned, keep watching through the video series and you'll learn how to cultivate a unique sense of mission for you that's right for you based on your life and your life experiences. So that's what a mission is. Now I want to talk a little bit about why it's important for you to start to cultivate that sense of uh, mission or purpose. So this is one area in which the research is actually really compelling. Uh, people who have a mission experience a deeper fulfillment in their life. They get greater life satisfaction. They enjoy a deeper sense of meaning. In addition to that, they experience more passion, more excitement. Uh, being mission driven, having a very strong sense of mission is also highly correlated with high performance as well as greater achievement in life. In addition to being a greater achiever, people who have a strong sense of mission and purpose actually live longer. They are more resilient to illness. So if they get a flu or a cold, they get over it faster and they're more resilient to mental illness. So depression, anxiety, having a strong sense of purpose almost buffers people through the various challenges of life. It pulls us through 
the hardships of life and can cause us to live longer. And interestingly enough, having a strong sense of purpose can actually improve your relationships. So what is the difference then between a job and a mission? A job is something that you do where you make money so that you can go enjoy the things you want to enjoy with the money you made from your job. A mission is the thing that you love to do, you're passionate about, that fulfills you, that's meaningful to you. So even if you weren't getting paid to do it, you would still be doing it whether or not you were getting paid. One of the things that the authors talk about is the importance of self-belief and uh, cultivating a sense of mission. And some people, the reality of it is, they don't think that uh, they could learn to get paid for doing what they love. Other people, they've forgotten what they love to do. They've kind of just accepted the societal hypnosis of get a job for a job's sake. And while it is important, by the way, to have financial security, Okay. The type of self-belief that I'm talking about is where you can start to realize that the very human organism itself is designed to learn. And you're an incredible learner, no matter what you may have thought previously. And if you recognize now that you are in fact an incredible learner, you can learn to take your passions, your interests, your mission, and create for yourself a life that is in alignment with that mission that also allows you to create the financial freedom and abundance that you want. The self-belief is gonna be very powerful for you in being able to actually start to create a mission. I think a lot of people, before they can even allow themselves to do this, they stop themselves because they'll say things like, oh, that's not how life is, or no, I can't do that. But if you can take those doubts and put them aside long enough to consider what I'm gonna be um, presenting to you in this video series, you might actually begin to realize that actually you can build a life that is in alignment with what deeply fulfills you. And realistically, you can do that now more than ever, right? With things like the internet, it's never been easier for you to find ways to actually make money doing what you love. A great example of a mission-driven individual is Susan Butcher. Susan loved dogs and she loved the outdoors. And she started to ask herself like, how can I combine my love of animals and the outdoors into a way of making a living? And one day she had gotten a husky and then she met up with a friend of hers who actually had 50 huskies. And she asked herself like, I wonder if I can teach these dogs how to race. And just by following what she was interested in, she went on to become the world's most dominant Iditarod racer at a time when the sport was completely dominated by men. Uh, Steven Spielberg is another great example. This is a guy who at a very early age uh, loved to make movies. And he says that at eight years old, he knew that his mission in life was to become a storyteller. Now, it's not necessary that you have that level of clarity now. Okay, because it will begin to develop if you start to consider the exercises that we're going to be doing in the following videos. Ted Turner. Ted Turner is the founder of the Goodwill Games, CNN, TNT, Headline News. And for Ted, uh, his father actually committed suicide. And what it forced Ted to do was to reconsider all of his ideas and all of his notions about what success meant. And in doing so, he realized that money, success, those types of things would not deeply fulfill him. And he wanted to create a legacy of creating a global community. So in that meditation, in that um, kind of reflection, he created this image or this vision in his mind of creating this global community. And that turned into a mission for him of bringing the world together and led him to create things like the Goodwill Games, like CNN, like TNT. Uh, John Wooden, as you probably know, John Wooden was the most winning coach in basketball. Uh, his team, while he was coaching, never had a single losing season. Uh, and these examples that I've given you are obviously great achievers, people that are famous and that we know of, and that is the temptation is when you start to create a purpose is to make it very grandiose. But I really do want to encourage you to realize that mission doesn't have to be something that's um, doesn't have to be something that's profound. You don't have to go to Mars. What it is, though, is something that is profoundly important to you. It's a mission. It's a vision. It's a way of living your life 
that is deeply fulfilling to you. So stay tuned. Make sure you've liked, comment, subscribe, because the next videos, what I'm going to be sharing with you is how you can actually start to figure out what your interests, your passions, your values, all can turn into a vision for your life that is deeply fulfilling. And then how to take that vision and then turn it into a mission that you can use to start to pull the absolute best out of yourself in every single area of your life.